Live from New York, it's Sunday night. The trivia game. here in New York City. Congratulations to everyone who had a friend run the marathon and who had to stand out there in the freezing cold for hours on end holding a sign, pretending to care. You are the true heroes today. But who will be the heroes tonight in our biggest game ever? That's right. We are playing for so much money tonight. So you have no idea how much we're playing for. So much. So much. There are over players on the starting line, including Rich Lampson, Colin Ett, Shim, Frank the Goat, and Olivia. Reading the question to tap. Two and a half. My goodness, what can you do with that kind of money? You can substitute sweet potato fries for regular fries for the rest of your life. Why are they charging extra for sweet potato fries? I hate it. Hey, you got the rules, you know the stakes. Are you ready to play? Is your head in the game? Is your phone charged? Look, this game comes at you fast and furious, okay? Could be some Tokyo drifting. But don't let your attention drift. If that chat is distracting you, just swipe it away. Hide it, swipe that away. Or enjoy the chat if you want. Okay, take a deep breath with me. Surrender to the flow, and let's make HQ history. Q1, in which metal do people most commonly invest? Aluminum, gold, or iron? Aluminium, gold, or iron? Most commonly invested metal. That's gold, Jerry, gold, come on. Gold is your answer. I hope you're not investing in aluminum. That would not be a wise investment. Gold, 1,139. They're staying golden. They're glittering. The price of gold, by the way, as of 20 minutes ago when I checked, is $1,270.19 an ounce. So you can get a couple ounces of gold with their winnings tonight. We're moving on to Q2, but before we do, let me tell you, we're doing a gift drop tonight. That's right. If you're eliminated already, it's okay. Stick around because we could get an extra life. Hundred seventy-five by the whiteout. Okay, we're on Q3, folks. We have a lot of questions left. We've lost a few thousand already, but we have forty thousand six seventy-five left. Here's Q3. What does the P in PGA stand for? Prize, putting, or professional? It is an acronym. Let me give you some hints here. The G stands for golfers. The A stands for association. The P is professional. Professional Golfers Association. And 39,806, they hit the green. The rest of you are in the rough. Hey, what does the LPGA stand for? You know that one? Ladies Professional Golf Association. Hey, ladies, do, 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 do. Q4, art that dismisses traditional values for new ideas is called what? Impressionist, conceptual, or post-impressionist? Some of you are having an art attack that question because you're freaking out. You don't know it. Maybe you know it. You don't know it. Do you know it? Time is up. Answers are locked in. Conceptual art is your answer. Conceptual art is about the ideas. That's right, the ideas. Conceptual, we got 13,638. They got it right. Here's a picture from popular conceptual artists Gilbert and George called Waking. Look at that, Waking. 
Gilbert and George. There's an idea of conceptual art for ya. Q5, why did spiral staircases used to be all made going down clockwise? Inventor's superstition to avoid dizziness or easier to defend. Why were spiral staircases made going clockwise? Spiral staircases going back to the Middle Ages, the castles, the knights going down the stairs, mostly right-handed. That is why easier to defend those right-handed knights coming down the stairs, slashing up the And we got 5,627 left in the game after that one. Ooh, guess what, folks? We're dropping it right now. We're doing that gift drop. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Did you tap that box? You tapping? Tap, 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 tap. What's in the box? We got it. 5,627 of you are left. Hopefully some of you got some there. We're going to Q6. Jennifer Hudson kicked off her musical career on which reality show? American Idol, America's Got Talent, or The Voice? Jennifer Hudson. She was on this show in 2004. She came in seventh, if you can believe it. Just two years later, she won an Oscar for supporting actress in Dreamgirls, an idol. She came in seventh on American Idol. But that's how we all found out about her. 4,052 got it right. This question was submitted to us by HQ player Ninja Shadow 131 Yes, you can submit trivia questions too on the homepage of the app. Send us a question. Maybe we'll use it. Q7. What WWE wrestler has the most wins at WrestleMania? John Cena, The Undertaker, or Hulk Hogan? Wrestling heads in the house? Who's wrestling with this question? Some of you are, right? Because it's tricky. You got John Cena, The Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, all great wrestlers. But The Undertaker has the most wins at WrestleMania, 23 wins. He's got more than the second most by 14, and we're down to 1985. A fine year indeed. 1,985 players left. We're past the halfway point. We're on Q8 here. Which national flag is a white cross on a red background? Denmark, Norway, or England? Yeah, crack an atlas much? Don't sound like you do. Got to know your flags here on HQ. It is a white cross on a red background. I studied abroad in this country, lived there for five months. It's Denmark. Vobordoy Danmark. Ja, ja. Hi, hi. Tulsen Tak. 1151. They know their Scandinavian flags, those North Sea flags. Most of them are crosses or X's against solid backgrounds. Denmark, white cross on a red. Nine. What annual award is given to the MLS team with the best regular season record? The League Chalice, Supporters Shield, or Campbell Cup? We asked about PGA, which is golf. MLS is Major League Soccer. Soccer. The best team in the regular season right now belongs to the Toronto FC. They won the Supporters Shield this year. That's right. Supporters Shield goes to the best team in the MLS regular season 448 got it right supporters shields your home and they do it free oh, that's a different different shield Q10 whose logo incorporates three tuning forks Steinway and Sons Korg Incorporated or Yamaha Motor Company tuning forks yeah what are tuning forks used for well they're used to tune pianos all these companies make pianos or organs, but Yamaha Motor Company is the answer because, yes, they make cars and jet skis and guitars, but they started making pianos back in 1887, and 214 players are left after that one. They're tuned up. They're ready to go. They're not fooled by daylight savings ending. You, you know, some of us get thrown off after that. But we got 214 people focused. On Q11, which of these stock indices lists 30 stocks? The NASDAQ Composite, S&P Midcap, or the Dow Jones Industrial? Which indice? I love saying indices, the plural of index. 
which stock indice, well, which stock index lists 30 stocks? That would be the Dow Jones Industrial. It's 30 of some of the biggest stocks on the market. And we got 99, Aaron Judge's number, 99 players left in the game. The Dow Jones founded in 1885. It includes some of the biggest companies, American Express, Apple, Coca-Cola, ExxonMobil, GE, and 25 others. We're on Q12. Battle Creek, Michigan is headquarters to what brand of cereal? Post, General Mills, or Kellogg's? <laughs> 